Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about debug element and DOM events. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch part 19 where we have discussed about the change detection method in Angular unit test case. So let's understand what is the debug element and DOM event. So as the DOM event name identify, like if in the HTML page, if we are triggering any method, or any function we are calling so that is the DOM event like for an example like on the click event we are calling any method so click is a uh, like a basically a event and uh, DOM element in the sense like we are going to have any H1 or we are going to have the buttons of these are the DOM element so first let's discuss what is the debug element so debug element is an angular class that contain all kind of references and methods relevant to investigate an element as well as the component. For an example, like in the while writing the Angular unit test case, if we want to get anything by their CSS or by like uh, like any like any element, then how we can do we can do that using the debug element, and that is the fixture dot debug element dot query and like through a CSS like H1. So we can get that particular element or we can say like instead of creating an HTML element tree, Angular create a debug element tree that wrap the native element for the runtime platform. So like, like for an example, when we are writing the Angular unit test case and we want to get some data at the runtime in the Angular unit test case and that can be do using the debug element. Now next is like what is the native element so native element property and wrap the debug element and return the platform specific element object so basically debug element wrap the native element and native element is basically unwrap the debug element to uh, return the value so native element return a reference to the dom element so we will understand in a bit like how we can do all these things and trigger event handler is a function that exists on angular debug element and all these things we can get like if you want to know more about the debug element you can go to this url and can see so now let's go to the visual studio and see how we can uh, use the debug element so let's go to the visual studio and in this visual studio what uh, we have done so far so now i created a two button one is the uh, like id i have given button increase number and another is the button decrease number and on their click event what i am doing i am um, like calling a respective method and this one i have given like i have given the class name or style now if you will go into the component side so these are the two methods so what i am doing like uh, on the increase number what i am doing i have taken a one variable and i am increasing by one and same doing with the decrease like I'm decreasing by one so if you will go on the browser so this look like this so when I click on the increase so it is increasing the number and when I click on the decrease so what it is doing it is decreasing the number so that is the like uh, HTML we have assigned now for this one like uh, like on the click event I want to write our unit test case like it is working or not working so for that one so let's go here and for that one first what we have to do we have to take the variables so first let's create the variable and for creating a variable what I will do let like I'm going to create an object of the debug element and next is like we have to so this debug element is basically exist in angular core and now next is like we have to define it so here like in dev and here what we have to do basically we have to define it so equal to fixer dot debug element so this i have done now let's write our unit test case so it and inside this one that name we have to give so i'm going to write so i'm going to write the test case name as a increase count 
click count click I am given and inside this one first what I am going to take I am going to take a object of debug dot query and by I'm going to get the value of h1 element like by their CSS I am taking the h1 value and next what I'm going to do I'm going to do same for the button so basically we are accessing uh, their value by uh, CSS and like uh, so so let's write first debug dot debug dot query by dot CSS and here what ID I have given for this one I have given button increase number so let's write it here so basically what I am doing I am accessing the h1 and the button values and that I am doing using the by their CSS h1 and their ID so this is the way of getting the DOM element in the angular unit test case now next what I have to do I have to check like that particular button is clicked or not clicked so for that one what we have to do button dot and we have one event called trigger event handler so basically that trigger event handler take two parameter one is the event name so that event is the click event and next is the event object so that is the empty so that I am doing now next what we have to do like so first what we have done we have taken the h1 value then we have taken the button id value and then we are going to click that but like this button now we have to refresh the value so for that one fixture dot detect changes and next we have to like check the value so expect now component dot so count number so basically like on the button like when we click on the button we are increasing the count or decreasing the count number so count number dot to equal and this one we have to check h1 dot native element dot in a text so basically what native element do native element check the DOM element like basically it return a reference of the DOM element so in that case this native element basically will return the h1 uh, like reference like the value of the h1 and inside this one I'm checking the inner text so like when we click on this like on this button when we will click so what it will do it will first detect the changes and whatever the number will be there same we, we are assigning in the h1 and in the text we are uh, like comparing that value like if you will see we are assigning the in the h1 so now let's run the test case so once we'll run the test case let's see what is the output for same so we can see like currently it is failing let's see on the browser and what it is saying it is saying can't read property of null so let's see what so basically it is not reading the button and the reason is because we didn't use hash here and another thing like let's go here component and here like it will be the number so what we have to do we have to convert it into the integer so let's convert it with the parse So parse int because it will return as a number. So now let's convert it and let's take it here and save it. Now let's go on the browser and see it will fail or pass. And we can see currently now our test case is passing and we can see here increase count click and it is passing as expected and it is returning one because at a time it clicked once only. So if I will go here like back and we can see our test case is working as expected. 
so this is the way we use the debug element so basically like when we have any event in our html and that particular uh, trigger event we want to test into the angular unit test side that we can do using the debug element so what we have to do we have to take those ids uh, basically like that dom element value in the test case and then like if it is a click event we have to trigger it first then we have to detect the changes and based on that one what we have to do we have to like then after detecting the changes we have to like check the value that particular is um, that value is working or not working so this is the way we can do it and like so as we understood like debug element is basically contain all kind of the reference and the me method relevant to the uh, like the element which we are having into the component that so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you